uh, is perhaps maybe even more shocking is that uh, the promoters of the wrestling business, uh, they really seem not to deter these athletes as far as taking steroids. Uh, it, they seem to condone it. Well, uh, yeah, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say this, uh, first of all, that uh, I feel that, uh, uh, number one, uh, Number one, uh, 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 antibiotic steroids are so psychologically addicting that the wrestlers will never get off of them themselves. Uh, the word is, uh, I've talked to people out here in California, and I've heard people make statements that uh, once you start taking steroids, you're on them for life, unless you have a life-threatening uh, situation, uh, a health-threatening situation happen to you like me and, uh, and other people, then you're going to get off of them for sure. But if you just get, if you get on steroids, you're almost hooked on it for life. So the wrestlers, John, the pro wrestlers will not get off of themselves. Even though a person like myself is an example, a, a fall guy, a guy who's who's had unbelievable problems and, and now this uh, degenerative joint disease, which is really new side effect from it, uh, which is a horrible, horrible thing. They're going to look at me and they're going to turn. They themselves are going to turn away and say, "Well, man, I." I hope it doesn't happen to me, but I'm going to keep on taking steroids. I mean, as sad as it is. So the point is, Vince McMahon, uh, we were uh, tested uh, randomly for cocaine. Uh, three years ago, we were tested for AIDS. Uh, and then uh, uh, there was a problem, uh, as, as you know, and uh, other informed people know, there was a, a cocaine problem in the World Wrestling Federation. And um, uh, the man was smart enough to start randomly testing for cocaine and finally solve that problem. So all he has to do is go ahead and say, look, we're going to start testing for anabolic steroids. And, uh, and uh, they won't have a chance. They won't have a choice, but they'll have to quit if they want to keep their job. So uh, it, is at the, uh, it is at the executive level in pro wrestling where they have to uh, make the decision to start testing for steroids and stop it. Well, isn't it their responsibility, not only to the athletes that they employ, uh, but to the health and future of these guys now? Isn't it their responsibility? Do you feel that they should definitely institute a program right now of, of, of drug testing for steroids and abolish it from the business? Well, that's exactly what they should do. I mean, uh, but you know, uh, uh, you've been in uh, uh, the wrestling business for quite some time now, and you, uh, you have a great insight to it. Uh, you know that it's a cold, cold business, and it's a hard business, and, and the bottom line is uh, let's get somebody out there to draw some money. Let's get some money in here. Let's, let's see what we can gross, and let's, and let's make money. And, uh, and unfortunately, the health and welfare of wrestlers is not their first concern. However, it should be their first concern because, just as you mentioned, if they would, uh, uh, if they would clean up uh, uh, body steroids from pro wrestling, they would have healthier wrestlers. They would have wrestlers who would wrestle the, for them longer. Um, uh, because, believe me, right now, there's, there are people walking around uh, in pro wrestling who are time bombs. I mean, there are people ready to... You know, I, I would I would still be wrestling right now uh, if it wasn't for anabolic steroids. It ended my career. The very drug I took to enhance my career ended my career. So uh, it, it's going to have to come at a uh, at an executive level in pro wrestling. They're going to have to stop it. But unfortunately, they've been turning a deaf ear and a blind eye. However, John, the publicity that this is uh, uh, my story has been generating, maybe it will have an impact uh, if we can keep the ball rolling and keep this thing going. Uh, uh, maybe it will have an impact because you you know as well as I do that before steroids were in pro wrestling, they were still selling out. Uh, uh, Madison Square Garden was still selling out in, in New York before superstar Billy Graham came on the scene. Uh, there were no steroids involved. The, with the crowd participation, the pandemonium, and the frenzy that people we see in people today, it was there then before steroids. So pro wrestling will not suffer. They'll still draw because the average fan doesn't know the difference between a 60-inch chest or a 52-inch chest or a 23-inch arm or, or a 20-inch arm. They don't know the difference. So that's the bottom line. Well, I have to totally agree with you with that. I remember uh, uh, the heyday of Bruno San Martino, who was also uh, outspoken about steroid use. Uh, he used to pack the garden every month, and uh, I... I'm a wrestling fan, or and been in the business professionally since the early 70s, but as a fan since the 60s, and uh, what you're saying is absolutely right. Uh, wrestling fans are wrestling fans, and they'll come out uh, regardless of whether someone's pumped up or not. Uh, but another uh, thing that has to be looked at here uh, is the ailments and the, the, the physical disabilities that you're suffering now. Of course, you get no compensation whatsoever as far as health insurance uh, from the pro wrestling business. It's non-existent, isn't it? 
That's exactly right, John. And that is one of the major, uh, the major beefs of all pro wrestlers today is the fact that there is no health insurance, there is no retirement fund, there are no benefits that you would think would be associated with uh, a corporation, a uh, the magnitude of Titan Sports, because we have people up there in, uh, in Stanford. Uh, I don't know how many employees of Titans were, 150, 200, but who knows how many employees up there, uh, 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 working typewriters, writing, the, doing office work, clerical work, running Titan Sports. And every one of those people have health insurance. Every one of those people have benefits, uh, retirement, I mean, covered to the max. And here the wrestler is out here uh, putting his life on the line in an airplane every day, his, uh, his, his, his life on the line in, in cars driving to towns and blizzards and everything else, and his body on the line every night in the ring, and we cannot get health insurance or any benefits. We are considered self-employed. That is a travesty of modern-day justice. It's sickening, it's disgusting, and it should have never been. But it, but as the old, the old, as you know, uh, uh, the old saying is, man, just uh, uh, pay the wrestlers and, and and they'll just keep on going, you know. Uh, but it's time for a change, man, because it's not right. It's not. It's not even close to being fair. Well, that's absolutely true. And of course, if you ever mention a union or starting a union in professional wrestling uh, by the boys themselves, uh, you most likely will get blacklisted. Is not is that not right? Well, at the time, uh, all, everyone's always talked about, well, let's get a union. That, is, that we need to, we need to, some sort of um, an establishment to help us bind together and become a strong, a stronger uh, uh, unity. But um, uh, it just, it just never has happened because nobody, uh, people don't want to take a chance of losing their jobs. If you, you know how easily you're replaced in pro wrestling. Um, uh, so uh, uh, there was always talk of that. There was always talk of unity, but it, it was just never strong enough. It just, it was just non-existent. Billy, tell us uh, what's happening with you right now as far as uh, your health goes. I know we, we saw on the Entertainment Tonight piece uh, that you're going, I believe you're going back in to have more surgery, or can you explain what's happening to you uh, right yeah. now? Uh, uh, for, uh, first of all, uh, uh, my, my, my current health situation is, and, and by the way, uh, speaking about uh, benefits, to just include that, uh, uh, that uh, segment of this conversation, uh, they say, well, wrestlers aren't insurable. Uh, they're they're, they're going to come on with that because of our nature of our business, but uh, uh, I'm covered uh, fully by the Screen Actors Guild. Uh, uh, stuntmen, uh, stuntmen are covered to the max, and you know, stuntmen, uh, d uh, football players, uh, uh, you know, they all have health insurance. Well, that's just an out number. I, I really want to make that emphatically clear that uh, well, obviously, stuntmen in Los Angeles here, uh, uh, they they put their, they've lost their lives doing stunts. I mean, it's horrendous some of these the things they go through. So there's no excuse for it. We are coverable, and we should be automatically to a, a giant corporation such as uh, Titan Sports or any other uh, corporation governing. Uh, 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 pro wrestling. Uh, now, as far as my health goes, uh, um, I have uh, the, my left ankle is just as bad as my right ankle. They said they want to operate on it. As soon as I'm uh, able, I'm going to cast uh, the cast you saw on Entertainment Tonight that uh, over the thigh, uh, down through the toes, uh, completely immobile. I can't put any weight on this leg for the next uh, a total of eight weeks. Uh, from the operation and then uh, they take that cast off and then a fiberglass cast goes on for at least uh, five to six months uh, because what we're dealing with here is with uh, bone fusion and bone grafting and bone is extremely slow to grow so it's just a long drawn out process and i'm looking at another ankle operation my left one now that's the, the john that was the real uh, the real uh, clue to all the surgeons who examined me that it was definitely steroids because of uh, my uh, uh, age, relatively being a relatively young man, and the extent of the damage done to both ankles at the same time. They had never seen this before. Uh, and so uh, everything, uh, I just want to make that point clear to the skeptics and to the skepticism that does exist uh, with my case today, especially after it aired on uh, NBC here in Los Angeles, uh, who first aired the story. Uh, uh, there were a lot of skeptics out there, and the only reason they don't want to believe it, John, is because they don't want to stop taking steroids. 
just like I did when they took out my left hip uh, three and a half years ago, told me point blank it was steroids that took your hip out, destroyed your hip. I refused to believe it because I wanted to make another comeback. I love pro wrestling, not bitter. I loved, I, I loved uh, uh, the being a pro wrestler, and I wanted to make another comeback. But I refused to accept the fact that steroids destroyed my hip. As soon as my hip was well, went out and got as many steroids as I, as, as I could buy and started injecting myself and started the whole cycle all over again. And it ended up this time blowing my ankles out. And Billy, you knew at the time when you had the hip operation that it was due to steroid. They told me, I thought, uh, John, I thought that it was due to the trauma and the wear and tear of pro wrestling. Uh, I, I, I convinced myself of that. And they told me, uh, point blank, uh, they being the uh, doctors of the Curlin Job Clinic uh, in Inglewood, probably the best orthopedic clinic in, in the country, um, they told me, point blank, that no, this is a new, uh, a relatively new uh, side effect, degenerative joint disease from steroids, and they emphasized it, and, and 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 I just turned, I just turned a blind eye, man. I refused to believe it and refused to accept it because I I wanted to continue taking steroids. I wanted to make another comeback, and uh, I just refused to believe it. So it was stupid. I was stupid, and that's what people are now. They're either stupid or uninformed if they refuse to believe the fact. Well, coming from a, a much a very good cr a source as far as yourself a credible source uh one of the top wrestlers uh of the 70s uh maybe this will finally open some eyes billy uh because it, it definitely has to be done because uh, as you say there are so many guys now you're saying the figures are up in the 90 percent range maybe even higher than that that maybe 15 20 years from now uh a tragic situation, uh, you know, a catastrophic situation could develop in the ranks of professional wrestling. Right. Well, even uh, uh, sooner than 15 or 20 years, uh, uh, because of the uh, uh, the nature of the uh, side effects of anabolic steroids, uh, plus the volume that is being consumed and the and the regularity that they're being consumed. Uh, uh, Pro wrestlers never go on what is called a cycle. Uh, bodybuilders will cycle uh, steroids, go on them for uh, six, eight, ten weeks, to uh, twelve weeks, and then cycle down and give their systems a rest, and then do it again. And, and bodybuilders are having a tremendous amount of. Pro All of a sudden, they're popping up with with the. Uh, 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 the torn pecs and ripped tendons and uh, and and and, and uh, I just got a, le a letter from a, a female bodybuilder when I was in the hospital after the the NBC uh, a local news in Los Angeles aired uh, aired the story she is suffering from degenerative joint disease a female bodybuilder so uh, the point is uh, uh, it's not going to be 15 or 20 years down the line it's going to be any time now because uh, uh, the, 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 the amount of consumption, the volume that they're putting through their bodies, and they never give themselves a chance to get off of it because, John, as you know, you got WrestleMania coming up, you got SummerSlam, you got at least five pay-per-view huge uh, 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 mega events that you've got to look good for. You've got your taping every three weeks. You have you're on television constantly. You never have a time. The joke in the locker room is, when do we ever have time to go off a of steroids? When do we have time to cycle it? We don't because you always have to look good. So it's that there, there's time bombs out there ready to go off, man. <laughs> okay, we're back. And a uh, very, very sad story, and giving an update on Billy Graham, uh, he is going in to get his hip replaced, his uh, uh, second hip operation, that'll uh, uh, take place in September.